Hello, I'm Maxwell, and I'm going to show you how I use my homemade Bloomberg terminal. See, a Bloomberg terminal is made by the company Bloomberg. It's also a TV network that sells these terminals. They pretty much are just a interesting, fun stock way, way to chart the stocks. They come with two screens. This is why I have my two screens like that. And then they have a special program that I cannot get because a subscription is a thousand dollars annually. So for one year, it costs a thousand dollars, and they're mostly for businesses. Like you can't really, you don't really buy them like for like personal use, unless you like, you have your own business and you, and you're the only one working. And then uh, they're really secure because they have like a fingerprint scanner, and then you have your other, and then you have your password. And, uh, so, th instead of using the software that the Bloomberg uses, I use, uh, Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade. I use the paper money because I don't want to waste real money. And so, uh, and so, Thinkorswim has a lot of interesting, uh, usages of it. You have, uh, so I can see my account statement, my a strategy rule. Oh, I can't use that. I have to. Uh, yeah, I have my account statement, my activities and positions, which are like what I've done, what are my, uh, what's my activity on my account, and what have I bought. So I've bought, uh, I've bought Euro Dollar Options. I've bought Home Depot, Maxwell Technologies, and uh, the short of the QQQ, which is the Nasdaq ETF. And so here, money with trade, you can trade options, futures, forex, foreign exchange. Futures are like futures are more like corn and wheat. You see what they're trying, and then pair. You see what they're trying to do. Euro dollar, euro dollar options is also that. Uh, but you could do pairs, and then pairs trader. You can use, you can uh, do commodities, which are. Which are like like foreign exchanges. You can do uh your futures, like I said, and you can do stocks in this side. That's what most people know now. Here, so you're just looking at the one screen. Now I'm going to minimize this and hold on and open it into my second screen. I believe I can. I usually can. I thought I could. Oh, here. Ah, oh, here we go. Here, maybe I'll, I'll bring this on this side, so. And then watch, I'll like open up like Yahoo Finance. Yikes. Oh, yeah, this is a lot bigger than I thought. Oh. Okay, now this is. So this is my. This is my one computer. And so, hold on, let me, and so yes, I have many, and then that's just for trading. I can analyze, I could do risk, probability, fundamental, think back, that's, and yes, you have many. I could do simulated trades, scan, I do. I don't really use this scan because I don't like it that much. Hold on. Ah, uh, here, hold on, let me, okay, uh. Ooh, it's still blurry. Uh, and then here I have my market watch, where I have heat map, which is really cool. I have like what all these little, this little, these little boxes and green and red things are what the market's doing. So if it's green, it's up, and if it's red, it's down. So I have, I can see the interest rates, quotes. I can see personals. Like I can see. I believe this is my stocks that I own. Is that positive though? I don't really use it in my heat map that much because I don't open this because it takes, as you saw, I don't know. Uh, it takes a really long time to open up. Yeah. Uh, I can set alerts. I can just look at any quotes. Uh, I can get, like, charts. Uh, this is product depth. I don't get that. Uh, but here I can here. 
I have this double screen. Hold on. So in one screen I could be looking at it, and then another I can be buying or selling it. Hold on. Let me show you MFWL Maxwell Technologies, the stock I bought, uh, which is at fifteen ninety five. And there's its logo, and that's the stock price. I believe this is this is a um, this might be a two week chart, one week. What is this? One oh one month. So year to date, I believe here. One year, one day. I think no, that was actually the uh, the day day chart of it. And so on. It's loading. I'm trying to get the year chart. Uh, no, I can't do it. And now here's tools. So this is really kind of weird thing. It's like uh. It's called my trade. It's pretty much like a Facebook or Twitter of trading. Where like, see, like sh this person put a uh, trade. Like you could, see, like you can. Uh, so they bought this. So I could click on that and I could buy it too. But uh, you have yeah. This is all my trade. It's pretty much just a Facebook for stock market trading. And then here, trade feed. That's pretty much the same thing for my trade. Think log is like notes, pretty much, so I can add notes. Like, I can put, like, if Maxwell Technologies buys, uh, does partnering with Tesla, I put a note in there and then it might go off. And then I can watch my, uh, CNBC, the stock market TV show. And then I get help. I get support and chat, and you can listen to traders talk sometimes. Uh, I could get Trader TV, which is CNBC. I ha I can add uh, I can add a watch list. I can add another watch list. I can do a quick quote, just like type in, find out what's happening with the market, and then hold on. Uh, I can do messages. Another quick quote. I can do live audio, so I can see like <clears throat> there's a radio usually playing. Yeah. There's a radio usually playing that you can listen to. It's pretty much just like a radio show. And so here, here's the second screen. So let's say I read a news article on Yahoo Finance. Let me find an article. Okay, it's loading right now. Let me open. This takes forever to load. Okay, I'm just gonna. And so, yeah, I can. I could even look at stuff in here and think of swim over here. Like, they have a couple articles, like, why Morgan Stanley can talk about South Thailand, Thailand, food fight, McDonald's versus Chipotle. Let me read that. Let me just look. Oh, it's a video. Oh, it's with my Jim Cramer. He's hilarious. With his big giant buttons. Uh, is this all? 16 here. Do they have? No. No. Oh, is that? Nope. I was looking at, uh, oh, is that, no, that, never mind. No. Oh, there we go, oh, Wednesday, Thursday, I gotta, oh, this is Fast Money, so, this is my favorite TV show, uh, on Fast Money, it's pretty much about, oh, that's, I met that guy in New York, he's me, he's, He's guy dummy. And so here I am opening up finance.yahoo.com, Yahoo Finance. And so I'm going to open up a chart right now, just one chart. And I'm going to find, uh, here most of the time, here, AT&T, here, right here. AT&T talks into buy direct TV. So I can go to, uh, I can look and overhear it. T AT T six ticker symbol, the T. It's 
Close T. And I can see AT&T stack. They're pretty volatile. Volatile means like going up and down. Uh. Now I can add a couple indicators that can also help me. Right now, yeah, that's a high, that's a low. It looks pretty good, but it might have gone up all the way. I mean, I, I should monitor that. Because if it keeps going up, then, uh, my buy it. So here's the article. So this is a nice, this is one of the reasons. So, oh, look at it. I can read about AT&T wanting to buy DirecTV for $50 billion. And so it's just like that. So I can read that. And so, oh, and then I can look at DirecTV on here. Oh, nope, I don't want to look. DirecTV. DTV. Okay. So, oh, it's at $91. See, that looks like it's just steadily. Oh, but it was down a couple of days, so. It's creating new highs each day. Right here, it's a high. And this is a year chart, so this is from last year to this year. And yeah, this is pretty much why I loved double screens. Because I can just read an article, or I could just look at two things, or like, or anyone could really use it. So if, like, if you're trying to write a report, and you're, you have Microsoft Word, or you're writing in this window and you have your uh research in this window and you could just keep looking back and forth or your notes in this window and your and your research in that window so it's very useful in many ways and this is my homemade work terminal thank you